welcome Leo, thanks so much for joining me. And welcome really to the song series. I'm going to be dedicating a song to your sign and this is a song that I believe is representative of the energy in your sign. So as with each sign I've been taking everyone through a little map of the seasons just to show where we are in the zodiac and I'm going to start by showing you how far we've come. We started our journey in Aries, just put a little A there and we've come all the way, we're going all the way around this way. So I'm taking the zodiac in a different direction to how it's usually taught uh, and if you want to investigate more about that I've done an introductory video but we have come as far from Aries we've come all the way up to you guys here in Leo and this is where the sun the summer sun is definitely at its peak still this is peak summer this is the exciting time of the year that we've all been waiting for you know we go through a long hard a long, hard, lonely winter, as is sung in that song, uh, Here Comes the Sun. There's a beautiful version of that by George Benson. And, you know, there's a line where he sings about the long, the long, cold, lonely winter, something like that. We have come through this tough time. We are all excited about going up to this time here, about hanging out in your part of the... Uh, of the zodiac, your your time and space, Leo. We're, we love it. All of us, all of us love it. Not just those who have birthdays. So, if I do a quick recap on the sign, you are ruled by the sun, and the sun in the kingdom of the zodiac is the king. Everything revolves around the king. Okay, so you are very important indeed. Your element is fire, you are symbolized by the lion, and your motto is I create. Every sign has a different motto. So Aries had I am, Taurus had I have, Gemini had I communicate, so on and so forth. We get up to you guys and it's all about I create. And my goodness, you are very, very creative and we're going to get into that. As for which song did I choose? Now here was a place where I found it very difficult to choose just one song. I have chosen just one song, uh, but it, I had a short list. I had quite a large short list in fact. With some signs across the zodiac it was really easy. There was Aries was just bang, I've got it. I didn't even have to think too hard or look too hard or none of that. It just came and that was the one. Uh, whereas with you guys, it was like, God, which one am I going to choose? There are so many people are writing and creating art about your sign. And of course, many creators, many songwriters, many artists and poets and all that kind of thing, they are Leos or they have Leo energy. So it makes perfect sense, really. Um, I'll take you through some of the shortlisted songs just quickly because it's kind of interesting. I thought about um, Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk. I mean, that's had like 3 billion views. You know, that's, that's an impressive song right there. Very popular. Uh, I just, that kind of had a Leo feel to me and very upbeat, very happy, very cool, very blingy, very funky, just, just great energy in there. I loved um, George Harrison's Here Comes the Sun. You know, you're ruled by the sun. What a perfect song. Uh, and that George Benson version is absolutely terrific of that one. We've got Katrina and the waves, I'm walking on sunshine. I really love that. That's, that's definitely got the energy, it's got that upbeat vibe. The only There was a letdown in that one and that was, I'm pretty sure they shot it on a cloudy day in London, which I mean the whole year is filled with cloudy days in London and you know I can understand that uh, they would have just had to go ahead and, and shoot that video regardless of the weather unfortunately uh, but it would have worked a lot better if there was some actual sunshine and then there was sting brand new day there's a terrific light so firstly brand new day that's the sun the sun shines all day um, there's a brilliant lyric in there where he says we'll sell the stock we'll spend all the money 
right? That is Leo. You know, let's burn it up. Let's burn it up, baby. You know, we've got money. Great, let's spend it. You know, it's that kind of let's burn it up, let's have fun. The sun, he's burning everything. <laughs> you know, and I mean, yeah, the sun has infinite energy, you know. So I imagine Leo, when it comes to money, it's kind of like, well, pff, money, yeah, let's spend it. You know, I'll earn more kind of thing. I imagine that's quite the attitude coming out of this part of the zodiac for many Leo uh, Leo sign holders. I don't know what, what we call you. Many Leo, Leo, Leo bearers. How about that? See, with Taurus, I can call them Taurians. But Leo I'm, I, is a tricky one. Anyway, which song did I choose for you? I need to get into that. I need to cut to the chase. That's what you're telling me. I can just feel it. I can feel it through the screen. I know. I know, Leo. I know what you like. You're like, come on. Get on with it. Um, what song did I choose? Okay, as I've said, I went through a whole bunch and, you know, it was, it was hard. It, it wasn't easy because I thought, well, for all other signs, you know, I've had video clips and it's all been pre-recorded. But then I started thinking, well, this is Leo, right? I need to have live music. I started to get extravagant here. Believe me, I started to have fun and ha be extravagant because I thought, well, we're in Leo. What's going to be enough? And I thought, I can't have pre-recorded video. I've got to have a live performance. Um, I also thought, do you know what? I would love to have a giant cathedral. It just came to me. I just thought I'd love to have a giant cathedral with marble and it's got to be huge. It's got to be a huge space. And I thought, I want to have trees. I want to have live, living, fresh, green trees in this beautiful, magnificent space. Um, I wanted... An audience of royalty, Leo. I wanted every single person in the hall of this live performance to be dressed in their finest clothes. This is the time for tiaras and whatever it is, the accoutrements of the height of fanciness. It's all got to be out on display. I want everyone wearing the best stuff. I want the best location I want trees I want flowers I want live music I want tuxedos I want everything you know what's enough I, it really did get me thinking what's enough for a Leo and I'm sure I'm driving you crazy because I'm really stretching this out and I'm, I'm not just giving you the song I'm, I'm really drawing this out Leo the song for you is joyful joyful by Samuel Lungblood Lungblood? Lung, Lungblood. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. I sincerely apologise if I haven't been able to. Uh, I believe he is Swedish and he is an outstanding singer. If you click on the link below, you'll be able to hear this magnificent voice and be blown away by the beauty of not only the song, the singing, the performance, the performers and the place, but the visuals, the, the stunning look and feel of the whole thing. It's just gorgeous. Um, this piece was performed live at the royal wedding of Prince Carl Philip and Sophia Helquist in 2015. So if you would like, you can pause the video at this point, click on your song and listen to it, or you can hear my analysis and then click on the song and listen to it. I actually kind of recommend doing it that way around because what would be quite nice is like you, after my analysis, you just click on the song and make the screen really big and just take it in because it's so beautiful. It's just really, really lovely. And his voice is magnificent. It's, it's something to enjoy. It really is. Uh, I'll draw out some notable lyrics that explain why I've chosen this song to represent your sign. So we start with joyful, joyful. Lord, we adore thee. God of glory, Lord of love, hearts unfold like flowers before thee. Hail thee as the sun above. The sun, right? Melt the clouds of sin, sin and sadness. Drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness. Fill us with the light, fill us with the light. Oh, fill us with the light of day. 
How beautiful. Fill us with the light of day. This, this is a real tribute to the sun, the glory of the sun. You know, the grandeur of the sun, this worship of the sun. I mean, you think about it, in the old days when they didn't have central heating, right? We've got central heating now. We've got, we have, our lives are so luxurious that it's just incredible. Life is so comfortable for us now in comparison to what it would have been a few hundred years ago. When you are coming through this, this place here, people didn't know if they were going to see another summer. People didn't know that they were going to get up here again. You know, they were living in their tiny little hut-like homes and, you know, they've got a bit of olive oil and a bit of bread and a little table and a candle and, you know, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it to another summer? Um, there weren't antibiotics. There weren't drugs like we have now. You think about it. Our lives are so convenient. You know, we press a button, the heat comes on. You know, we could be sitting in our apartment in the middle of winter wearing shorts and eating an ice cream that we take out of a freezer. Do you know, our lives are very interesting <laughs> right now. Um, so look at the tribute going on in this song, the tribute to the sun, you know, the beauty of the sun, the glory of just being able to walk down the street without needing to carry half of your wardrobe, which, believe me, as a Londoner, I appreciate sunny days. <laughs> I really do. We had one today and it was just incredible. It was really something. I could go out and not wear a jacket. Really amazing. Um, so now I'm going to take us to the part of the presentation where I talk about what is great about your sign. What is great about your sign? Well, when I was in Cancer, I said that Cancerians are romantic, but the most romantic people in the zodiac are in fact Leos. And I'm saying that to you right now, Leo, you, you're very romantic. You guys are number one, best at romance, absolutely. I think it's the creativity. It's, it's the creative element. I create. You know, it's like I create uh, wonderful experiences. I create memorable memories. I create beautiful times to sweep people off their feet. You know, it's like you want to be creative with all kinds of things, not just, I mean, one of the typical associations of this house is children. Of course, you create children, yes. But you create experiences, you create memories, you create these golden moments in people's lives. And that is beautiful. Don't stop doing that. Keep doing that. That's really special. Um, I've got a note here saying, this is man or woman at his or her best, humanity at its best. This is the part of the zodiac which offers the peak experiences of life. Okay, so when we were here in, I'm going to write it out, Aries, when we were here in Aries, do you remember the little boy that we saw in Aries? And he comes out and he's dressed like a cowboy and he's got his guns ablazing. That little boy, he, he is growing up dreaming about these experiences. He is dreaming about having Leo experiences. And every little boy, every little boy and girl, every child is growing up dreaming, one day I'm going to get married and one day I'm going to have kids and one day I'm going to live in a big house and one day I'm going to do this and one day I'm going to have a job and I'm going to change people's lives and I'm going to, you know, everybody comes into the earth and when we're looking at the hero's journey going around this zodiac belt, we come into life aiming for the best experiences, okay? And sometimes it pans out that way and sometimes it doesn't. And for me, thank God for astrology because astrology helps explain when it doesn't go the way you would have wished. Uh, it gives us lots of reasons as to why. And if you've got a curious mind, astrology is brilliant. But, I mean, this is the place where the peak experiences of humanity live and this is your sign. Uh the height of artistic expression, the height of politics, absolutely, leadership, rulership. You know, you look at a country like Australia, for example. I, I watched a documentary recently about uh, the parliament there and I just, for the whole, I think there was a four-part documentary about uh, the parliament 
and how it runs and, and everything that goes on in there. I was just blown away. I was like, I was looking at Australia's royalty. It's incredible what goes on in there. It's amazing. I was really blown away by that. Um, and the wealth that was in there, I was like, wow, that's pretty stunning. Uh, so it was a very royal, regal thing. And yes, politics is that in some places, <laughs> not everywhere. Um, ancient texts, children, what else? Self-study. Being a self, self-starter, self self-study, um, that also falls under this area. You're creative. You'll make it happen. You'll figure out a way. You're very resourceful and amazing, Leo. Um, you're, you're a terrific sign. So that's what's great about your sign. I mean, I could go on. I could go on for hours. You guys are amazing. But you know that. I think you know that as well. You know, I think that's the thing about Leo. They kind of know. They kind of know that, yeah, we're the best. Uh, so that's good. I don't need to go on about it too much. Um, if you watch each sign, I don't know if you would, Leo, because I, I can't imagine you have time. <gasps> I'm being challenging with the Leos today, aren't I? But if you do dip into any other sign and you see more, of the other signs, you will see that I am celebrating each sign and saying why they're the best and much loved and all that kind of thing. But you guys, you guys know. Do you know what I mean? I don't need to big you guys up too much because you, you know. Right. In every single sign, I've been giving a tip and I've been saying this is what, you know, if, if life gets too boring, if it gets too much the same or you want to shake things up, you need to go into your polar opposite and take a leaf out of there. Uh, sign right so for you Leo I mean gosh if things ever get too luxurious and uh, too rich and happy and <laughs> you know if it's all too wonderful then then uh, go and hang out in Aquarius hang on where are we gonna I'll just put an A all right you know what I'm talking about but just go and hang out here take a leaf out of out of their book and uh see what's going on there and to help you you could you could watch my video on Aquarius and get some ideas from that or how about this you could just ponder some of these quotes now for no other sign I've given quotes in there as their tip but you are special Leo you're getting quotes and you're not getting quotes by just anyone you're getting quotes by one of the brilliant thinkers and philosophers in history whose name is Seneca okay so I'm giving you some Seneca these are just to reflect on, just to think about, just to go, okay, I'm going to reflect on these. So how about this quote, for example, there is a noble manner of being poor and who does not know it will never be rich. I'll leave that with you. The less we deserve good fortune, the more we hope for it. Again, I will leave that with you. And one last quote by Seneca. A well-governed appetite is the greater part of liberty. Again, I shall leave that with you, Leo. But I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out this video and... You are a much loved part of the zodiac. I have been saying that for every sign, but you, you know, I mean, you you are particularly much loved and admired, and a lot of people aspire to uh, the qualities in your in your sector of the zodiac. You know, everyone's creating art for this 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 joyous part, and and you know, so there's there's a lot of love and admiration here, and enjoy your sign do you know what I mean and, and, and you can ponder these things but you know what if things are marvelous well here's my other tip for you just just go out and enjoy it just go out and have some champagne and just enjoy do you know what life is short I think that's the ultimate tip here isn't it life is short enjoy it if you're having a good time if you're on a good run just enjoy it don't don't just what was that Sting song? We'll sell the stock, we'll spend all the money. Let's burn it up. Let's enjoy. Let's have the time of our lives. Just do that. Uh, because you doing that lifts all of us. I do believe that, you know. Anyone out there who's genuinely having a good time and emitting that energy to the rest of the world, they are doing the world a service through that. I do believe that. So keep being you. And... Uh, 
and share your good fortune with as many people as you can, even if that's just sharing via a compliment or a kind word or making someone laugh or whatever it might be. Uh, share something of you with the world. So thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're going to join me in the next song in the series, then I will see you in Virgo.